What's good, YouTube? We're back for another game stream, and we got a little classic or somewhat classic beat em up game to play today, and it is called The Stone Protectors. So, um, back in my teenage days, I remember playing this game. Uh, I played the SNES, SNES version, and this game gives you a choice to play either the SNES version or the Genesis version. Anyways, the description says, Slam into the stone zone for a wild battle of the bands. It's you and the rest of the stone protectors against Evil Zulk and his whole sucky group. You get to play Clifford, Cornelius, Chester, Maxwell, or Angus. Yeah. Anyway, so without further ado, let's get this game started. So, I played, you know, I had to test my controls in the Steam Big Picture mode. And it's hard. But not hard because, well, it's, the game is okay. But it's a little bit unbalanced. I mean, it takes a lot of power. Each enemy takes a yeah. lot of power from you. Characters like the enemies take a lot of power from you. Like you'll be dead in like two seconds if you let them hit you. Three seconds. Um, the controls are a little bit stiff, but I think that's always been, you know, with the game. Um, and there's like a little delay when you're trying to punch after being hit or something. Like I just tried to punch right there, but it was like it took like half a second. And there's no running. I really, I really wish you could run in this game. See, there's a delay in the punch. I turn around and I try to punch, and it takes it takes a minute. So yeah, you'll be dead in a second. You, it's best to just keep moving around, find a spot, and then attack. This is by far the quickest character I use. I played with a couple of other ones. Oh, I tried to kick him, and nothing happened. But that should be an easy patch for, or should be a easy fix, hopefully for the developers. So yes, let's try to stick and move if it's more than one enemy on the screen, because I mean, they do a lot of damage. Hey guy, how you doing? So the moves are pretty simple. You have your punch and kick. Oh, well, you, I did have to set my controls up in the Steam Big Picture mode, but I mean, it only takes a couple minutes because the controls are pretty simple. Uh, you got your punch and kick. You got your jump button. You got your special button. Uh, it either does a projectile or that right there. It does take a little bit of damage from you. And you can also block do the punch and kick buttons at the same time and you're able to do it, able to block if you hold down the punch button you do a little charge move I, I believe I believe it's the, you do a charge uh, you hold down the punch button you let it go it does a little uppercut you hold down the kick button it does a little spin kick I mean, I 
I tried punching that guy, but it, it just, it's just like a delay. I just tried pressing the, I have to press the kick button twice. So like when you're doing the charge, you can't move. You stay like that. You stay in what I call turd mode because it looks like you're about to. You're, you're trying to drop a turd. See what I mean? Uh, anyways, yeah, this game is still cool. It's just a little tough, a little unbalanced. Like the enemy is able to get, and then like we throw like. Should be able to knock the other enemies down too. Yeah, so the minute you get two two enemies on screen at once, just jump kick them. It's not like uh, you know, like Final Fight and stuff. You're able to take them out like that. No. It's too stiff. This game is too stiff. I want to say the controls are a bit too stiff for that. So just try to and see. I tried to jump kick there, and there was no response. But like I said, hopefully they can just patch that up. Those are. So I mean, I would have. If I'm throwing it towards the, enemy, the other enemy, it should be able to. Knock them down as well. But that one did. The controls are just so stiff. And this is just the first level. like that. You know, maybe I should try to use the block button. Okay. That, that worked. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Now, nah, yeah. Bye. Come on, Spark Plug. Come on, Sparky. Take that, take that. I really wish you could run on here. Do a little dash punch or something. Oh, I bench pressed him. Take that. I don't know how I did that. How did that? See, when you try to grab him, it doesn't grab him. But no complaints. 
It was very unresponsive, the controls right there, like he hit me and I was trying to punch back and nothing, no response. Past the level, you want to save it ASAP. So let's figure out a way how to save it. I got extra life. Cool. Oh, so do you, do you unlock special moves on here? Do you end up being able to run. Okay. Hey guys.
right, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop it right here and upload it as gameplay one. So I paused it. Let me see if I can find a way. There it goes. Oh, I saved it just that fast. Um so yeah, after you're done with the first level, what you want to hurry up and do is save it. And yeah, so we're going to go ahead and stop it right here. Go ahead and hit the quick button. Yes, sir. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and upload this as gameplay one. So thanks for watching. It is the stone, stone protect. Yeah, Stone Protectors is out right now. Developer is Eurocom. Publisher is Pico Interactive and Bleem. So, yeah, the game is actually pretty cool. They just need to, you know, loosen up the controls a little bit because it's, I mean, they're like super tight. And the punch and kicks are just a little unresponsive. But overall, it's still a pretty cool beat em up. Uh, so, yeah, thanks for watching. Laters.